London has such a bad name for itself. Um, but I don't think Swindon is worse than any other smallish town in the UK. You've been placed on hold. Please wait. I think that in Swindon, a lot of people don't believe that they can make a difference towards anything. But I think that's mostly the same around the UK, especially with young people. Yeah, I wish people believed in, in themselves enough, because then um, they'd do stuff and then stuff would happen. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't really know um, what my goals are, like, job-wise in the future. I would rather be doing what I want to do and not have all the money in the world than have all the money in the world and be doing something which I don't want to do. So, like, the, I'd rather be happy and not have all the money than have all the money and live a miserable life. with any town or city unless everyone wants a big sports team to be proud of and follow. I think it just gets people together really. Whether you've had an amazing week or a very bad week, I wouldn't say it makes the week better, but it's something for you to get away from. Just really for a few hours, just enjoy yourself, find yourself with friends and something you love. I don't know, I just I enjoy it so much. Nice place to live in. It's a lovely club. Always treat you well. And yeah, always nice supporters and they always talk to you. And yeah, really kind of people. I remember the first time I got on a bike, my dad dropped me on it and said, start riding it and push me down the hill and go off I went. In Speedway, it's moved me from a boy into a man really quickly. I've learned, learned how to like control myself more like with my anger and sort of stuff like that. And my dream is to do that. And instead of me going out and just running wild, really. There's probably so many young people around Swindon and around the country finding it difficult and I think it's kind of pressure in society to be perfect. Like, you have to look perfect now, you have to act perfect, you have to be a certain way to be able to be perfect. All these filters that make you look like you have bigger eyelashes or... Uh, smoother face or skin. I think building healthy relationships, this is having an impact on because people aren't being themselves around others. They're trying to be someone who they're not. You know, people hide themselves behind those filters, but everyone's different and that's what we've all got to kind of embrace, really, everyone's individuality.